Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just I am playing Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Um, sorcery build, or playthrough, whatever. Last episode we did um, the old Iron King and the uh, Lost Sinner in New Game Plus. Uh, also, I want to mention that I'm recording this at a later point than I would usually record. So I'm a little bit tired. I'll be around. Uh, the reason being is because I need to watch Nintendo Direct. Um... <laughs> And, yeah. Wait, do I have a, uh... I don't have a Fragment Bench of Yore, do I? Oh, no, I do. Right. I held on to it. I actually held on to it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Because you need a Fragment Bench of Yore to enter the, uh, the woods. So, yeah. Please excuse my... Even more nonsensical bullcrap, probably. In combination with me just being tired. <laughs> so... Need to watch a Nintendo Direct that's uh, at midnight. Some people might be thinking like, pathetic midnight. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I have a biorhythm, and if I go if I go against that biorhythm, uh, yeah, I have issues. <laughs> it's kind of just like a period that you have to get over. That that's kind of a thing that that's always been a thing, really. Where it's just like a moment where you're having difficulties keeping your eyes open and then it just goes away and then that's that's the moment where you start that's the moment where you're basically available to stay up the entire night <laughs> but it never feels good I would say for me personally staying up way too late never feels good can you please open this door thank you I'm also going to be a little bit more um, salty. I'm going to be cursing a little bit faster, I think, than I would usually do, so. If you don't like any of that stuff, feel free to leave. <laughs> but if you do like any of that stuff, well... You're going to hear me say some bad words. <laughs> Probably. Because my filter has been disengaged. It's also because I just have to do these ones. I once again, I I, I think I gave my explanation explanation about this last episode, but I really don't like having to redo stuff first and foremost. Having to redo like basically an entire game is not amazing for me. Um, I have to go to the shaded woods or the shaded ruins to be precise, which is this way. Through the fog. Oh, fog. Right. And that, my friends, is all the commentary that I have to give in this new game plus place. <laughs> uh, I do think I'm gonna probably do something similar to what I did last playthrough, where I'm gonna commentate over the first one I do, just to give you like some general extra info if you're interested. On how I do this, um, and then when I need to go and do it again, <laughs> at least when I need to do like the first four great souls again, then I'll probably just speed it up in one big episode. Maybe we'll see. Totally depends on how you know <laughs> fluently everything is gonna go. <laughs> because last episode was an hour long, and um, I I fucked up quite a lot of times. Oh well. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's very fine. Alright, you know it's not fine? This boss, that's not fine. You may have booba, but... You have way too much magic defense. <laughs> As you can quite clearly see. This boss is also in a higher new game state, so... Joyous occasions. You know, the one boss that has a lot of... You know what, actually, does like every single boss that has a lot of magic defense are in a higher new game state than... than normal. Because I needed to fight them to get certain rings. Well, either a ring or a spell or something. Or, you know, the Moonlight Greatsword. 
That's gonna hurt. Okay, no. It missed, so... It missed, so it didn't hurt. That's the grabbing attack. 332 damage. And my normal sword. 220, yeah. I think it's a better idea for me to use this one. You're gonna use your tail. That stretches across the entire freaking arena, that attack. It's kind of crazy. And into the ground. I go into the ground! Right, please get out. So that I may continue to slice you to bits. Well, either I'm gonna slice you to bits or you're gonna slice me to bits. Right. Well, she's more likely to eat me while I slice her to bit. And then eat her. <laughs> no. I do not want to eat this woman. She looks a little bit too disgusting for me. Never really been too big of a fan of scorpions. Right. Do not want to get grabbed by that attack because that's going to do a lot of damage. And also, you know, toxic me. That's right. Yeah, not lock on, locking on to this boss is actually a pretty good idea. There's probably a lot of bosses once again in this game where it's a lot easier to fight them if you don't lock on. I don't know. Whatever. She's dead. That's all I cared about. No one can be prettier than me. <laughs> Alright. Alright. <clears throat> God love the moment when your voice starts to give way. <laughs> then you know that you did a good job. Um, do I want to get the bonfire? But, nah. I don't think it's going to be necessary, but you know what? I might just get one shot and kill and then I'll feel bad about myself. But oh well. Oh well. I'll take the risk. As long as everything goes smoothly, everything is fine with me. But for the moment, that anything, for the moment, there's just like a pebble in my way. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> right. Nice axe throw, bro. Right. I need to stop chewing my tongue. I keep doing that. It's such a bad habit of mine. Chewing on my tongue. Don't you go blocking me, buddy. Goodbye. Buddy. Alright, and now comes a, a pretty interesting part. Well, in a moment, in any case. Once we reach um, the Duke's Dear Freya, that's gonna be a fight and a half. Because I already fought it twice in New Game Plus, so it's basically at New Game Plus cycle number three. <laughs> so, I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm pretty dang sure that the Duke's Dear Freya is probably not going to take that much damage anymore from my spells. But I guess we'll see. Seek less. seek less. I will try to seek less, my lady. At least I'll get more casting speed. <sighs> and maybe more achievement slots. Which allows me to equip stuff like more soul spears. <laughs> which is, to be quite honest, pretty dang nice. Because the difference between how much damage my soul spears do and my uh, great heavy soul arrows, there's quite a difference there. <laughs> right. Time to deal with the peasants. Hello, buddies. I was really hoping that I would kill more of them, but whatever. And then we get the big spider. It's going to appear around here. Yes, people, the Duke's Dear Freya is right here. However, you cannot kill the Duke's Dear Freya right now. At least I think so. Can I shoot you? Come over here. Let's see. Yes, I can. Huh. That's a decent amount of damage. <laughs> That's not a horrendous freaking damage. 
she will disappear at a certain point. Or she'll just leave, really. Or did I stun lock her? Into her being here. Nah, she's gone. Yeah. You can actually break the game. If you somehow kill her, you, it actually breaks the game. Or at least I've seen like a... I've seen a video thumbnail of somebody doing a lot of stuff with the Dark Souls series and apparently killing Dux Freya in this moment would break the game. <laughs> Which is funny to me. I find it kind of stupid that they give you like the, the health bar then, really. They should have made like a mid-air situation. But they don't give you the boss health bar. To make you think like it's not gonna be a boss. But even though mid -air looks way too cool to not be a boss. <laughs> Alright, so pretty close to a bonfire, so I can go all out with my spells. Ouch. There we go, let's go ahead and take care of Crowding Magus. Ow, you piece of shit. Lightning! I'm gonna kill some of your congregation. Congregation. Oh, congregation. I did not think I was gonna backstab you, but sure, I'll take it. Hey, look at them healing each other like friggin'. I I wanted to say a word, but it's it's not a good word. <laughs> and I personally don't like the word myself, so I'm not gonna say the word. And goodbye. One of the easiest bosses in the series done. Nailed it. First try. Right. One violet. Uh, do I have enough souls? I don't think so. No. Alright. Let's go and change my layout for a moment. Um, or my loadout. <laughs> my layout. Let's go and change my layout. No. Let's go and light a torch. This is right here is going to be my saving grace. For the entirety of the next area. By carrying a torch with you, the spiders will in general not attack you. Fucking bitch. <laughs> We're also going as another life gem. Right. Nope. Oh. Holy. And this should lead me to. Um, yeah. So I can go this way. I can jump down here. And go this way. Now there's still going to be a couple of enemies that are going to fight me. There's a red phantom actually behind me. Wow. <laughs> Also, that spider dude is dying <laughs> quite rapidly. Actually, not really. It's not really dying. Yeah, no. <laughs> he did not take enough damage for that. There we go. Okay. So those are the two more annoying enemies out of the way. Or at least the two enemies that would kind of fight me, you know? Right. Now we have this guy over here. Which is the final enemy that would... Well, I guess you also the peasants at the bottom of the uh, thing. I've... It's so weird how they sometimes attack me, even after death. Um, there's also the peasants at the bottom of this pit. But they shouldn't pose too, too big of an issue. Right. At least as long as I don't get cocky. Just going to jump down here, take a little bit of damage. Uh, that's, too bad. that's a bad idea, yeah. That, my friends, right there is the bad idea. <laughs> Don't want to do what I just did. I have a tendency to do that. I kind of forget that that isn't a cup that I can stand on. And thus I slide all the way down and almost die. Okay, let's go roll my side for that stuff. And let's go and cast some spells, shall we? Wow, nice. Hit him in the leg. Okay, big laser. <laughs> just roll straight into that laser. Nice. 
What you gonna do? You are going to shoot your laser again. Which is kind of fine by me. I tried to roll again, but I failed again because I suck at games. And thus, they will do it again. Let me go and just run this way now. That way I can more easily avoid it. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna hit him. Ow. Did you see the amount of damage I took? That was basically a one-shot. Or almost, in any case. Alright, just keep on running this way. <laughs> this other spider's just running for his life. It's like, no, not the light! Everything but the light! How could you do this to me? And there goes one of its heads. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a thing that happens. Now that I, uh... Well, but I'm using this many spells, really. Because I think it's determined about, like, with the amount of hits you do against the head. Not the damage. Because I've fought the Juxy Fair more than enough times... Killing it without actually... Destroying one of the heads. Run! <laughs> Not Mr. Big Cog. Not why. Why do you move your head? Right. And then it's time for normal great arrows. Ah, you're dead? Okay. <laughs> As I just hit one of the spiders in the back. Oops! <laughs> also need to embrace the great sword. Which, uh... Yeah, the Great Soul isn't... isn't the Jukes de Freya, it's the corpse that the Jukes de Freya is inhabiting. Nice, hello. Give me that Fragment Branch of York. Just in case. Well, now that I have another old Pale Drake Soul, I could technically get myself another one of those Crystal Soul Spears. However, I would need to get straight for that. And I also need, you know, two more attunement slots. <laughs> and the next attunement slot I get is gonna... I'm gonna put another soul spear in that, so... I don't think I will. Hello. Let's go and continue upgrading my attunement. Okay. Uh, let me go and re-equip myself. And let's go and equip the silver cat ring, methinks. There we go. I don't have as much fall uh, protection that I used to have. Because in the last place I also had this Sanctum Knight leggings. Which made it so that I took even less fall damage. Oh well, this should suffice. This should definitely suffice. There we go. So, um, this way will lead me... I think I need to be at the bottom, because the top path will lead me to the uh, rat place. Which is not a place I want to be. <laughs> Don't want to deal with uh, the royal rats. I am ridiculously lucky right there. Oh, well. I deserve that. I deserve everything about that. Yeah. That's just how the cookie crumbles, people. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you die. <laughs> sometimes you fall down a pit and die because of... reasons. <laughs> Alright. Once again, um, I'm not sure if I should have survived that. Alright. Going down even further. Let me go run over this way. Okay, that works for me. Then this. And then let's try that again. There we go. 
A nice of you. Okay, so you have two pathways. Um, I always keep forgetting which... Okay, so that's the pathway where those dudes are. Which I think is the optional pathway. So we want to go this way. Nope. Nope, that was wrong. The reason, as you can quite clearly see, why I wanted to go the correct pathway is because there's two fucking OP NPC dudes over there. Whom I want to avoid at all costs. If I can. Alright. I guess I'll just climb down then. Or fall down, really. Because the silver cat ring is... Pretty freaking good. <laughs> and it's not even the max uh, fall negating damage thing that you can have. Right. Right, so bonfire. Get this torch. This is torch. This is torch. And let us go and make our way. I'm making my way. Through the gutter. Slap. Le slap. Right. I have to go this way. Avoid the dog. The dog. Go this way. Let me go and heal up just in case if I get attacked. That way I might have some reserves. Since I do know that there's a couple of enemies. And the ones with their glowy swords are the worst. <laughs> because of the amount of damage they do. And there's also a moment to, you know, knock you off of, the, off of the platforms and kill you. Because Dark Souls 2 does not want you to have fun. Let's go and break this thing. Get this one fart. Bonfire! They are really nice. Let's see ya. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna fall down. There we go. Hello. I would like to cast some spells to open the way. And not break my equipment. At least, once again, I would like to. But I failed. There we go. And that, my friends, is a gutter, in a nutshell. Yeah, getting getting through the gutter is... It's not too bad. <laughs> that really isn't too bad. And also the same for a Brightstone Cove, I feel. It's a good thing that I start with. Um, Sinner's Rise and a lot of jazz. I down and keep first. Okay. So I don't think I need the Silver Cat Ring anymore. So let me go and equip the cover the Silver Serpent Ring. Now I could, of course, get the bonfire and... Um... <laughs> poison, 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 poison. I'm not sure if you've noticed it, but I don't care about the poison. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming through. I'm here to speak with the manager, and that's it. Stop hitting me! Because I don't want to get attacked by Wooden Chug Gully. Okay. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Wow, got hit by that. Nice. I also now have three Crystal Soul Spears. Nice. Because I got my achievement leveled up. That's amazing. 958 damage. That's pretty cool. Hello. Ball. I also have nine Soul Spears. Wow, Jesus. That is pretty freaking nice. All it took, my friends, was going into New Game Plus <laughs> and reaching an insanely high level. Well, maybe not an insanely high level, but a pretty high level. Alright. That's a grab. If you somehow still hit me with that, that would have been ridiculous, but also very funny. Gotta watch out that I don't... Oh boy! I was standing in the fire. That's what I wanted to watch out for. 
Because he knocked me into the fire. Oh boy, puke. Le puke. Alright. And go and heal up again. As he blocks his body with his arm. Ah yes, the screams of the dead. My favorite. It's my favorite part of Dark Souls 2. Goodbye. Nicey. Once again, the run to the gutter. Hmm. Simply sublime. I love it. There's also like no required bosses along the way. There's a royal rat, like one of the royal rat vanguard, I think. But uh, yeah, aside from that, there's nothing else. Let's go and skip through his text because we do not care about Aldia. Goodbye. And now we can go over to Drang Lake Castle. Then we have to deal with the Looking Glass Knight, Shroud of Mana. Um, oh boy. Looking Glass Knight, Shroud of Mana. Um, then we have to go and deal with Aldeus Keep. Uh, and then we have to deal with some more stuff also. I don't remember everything that I need to do. <laughs> I kind of don't want to think about that either. I'm just going to keep on going. Alright. Gotta keep on moving. I think I should probably kill these guys now because... I'm going to need to open up the door of winter. Or the shrine of winter. Oh, you fucking... There you go, buddy! Have fun. I'm gonna need to open up the door of winter, and if I do not kill these falconers, if I run past them, they'll just follow me and kill me. When I reach the door, as they have done before. <laughs> In my other No Game Plus adventures. But, yeah, this guy already locked onto me, so he's going for me. How are you able to do that? Also, he stunned like me into freaking oblivion. Get out of here, you fucking... Are you kidding me? Why? Where did that guy even come from? He's just suddenly here. How about you eat one of these? There we go. Eat shit. That goes ridiculously double for you. Unfortunately enough for me, I cannot lock onto you. So, um... I guess the old-fashioned way also works. Can you imagine if I had more soul spears? <laughs> I can imagine it. I can also taste it. Nice. Took me about an hour and a half. That is how long it took me to get through um, through all the four great souls. <sighs> it's definitely long enough. Oh well. I really shouldn't focus too much on it. Because it's not going to do anything for me anyway. <laughs> That's one thing that I've learned. To try to not really focus too much on the bad things. Also, when you're just working, don't try to think of like how much work you still have to do. It's as weird as it may, or like as as, as uh, cliche as it may sound, you really just kind of have to think about what you've already done, <laughs> as opposed to thinking about what you still need to do. Because I've I've noticed anything with my entire quote unquote career of 100% in games, I've noticed that once you start thinking. Like, oh man, I need to do this, I need to do that, I still need to do this. Once you start doing that, you suddenly lose all motivation to continue. <laughs> or at least I do. 
Could be different from other people, of course, but... For me, personally, that is just like a freaking... That's just a bad idea. <laughs> Basically. My god, that's good. And I haven't even touched my amber herbs. Or my, you know, wilted dusk herbs. I've barely used any of these. There you go, eight soul spears again. <laughs> nice. So anyway, I started blasting. Speaking of blasting, there is that dude over there now. Who wasn't here originally. But he's here now, ready to kill you. And your entire family. Can I please run? Nope, because it was out of stamina. Look at this. Look at this grip! Kinda want to shoot that thing at him, but whatever. This is basically a Drake Keeper. He's wearing full Drake Keeper armor, using a Drake Keeper uh, Great Hammer. He's just, in general, a Drake Keeper. Unfortunately enough for him, I have the power of God and Animate. And thus, he dies. Also, there's this guy. I'm gonna kill him. Not too far away from Balfire, so... Hey, buddy. Get over here. Scooch on a little bit closer, dear. There we go. Oh, hello. There are now more. Even more. Right. Ah... Uh. Are you kidding me? You're not supposed to respawn this fast. You never respawn this fast when I actually need you to. Or it could have been another one, I have no idea. <laughs> and neither do I really care. Because why would I need to care? Let's get a move on. Not sure if they'll follow me all the way over here. I guess we'll see in a moment. Alright. Hello buddy. You're in my way. You're in my way, you're in my way, so you must die, so you must die. Great. Wow. Well, it's something, that's for sure. Can I drop down here? Yeah. Let's go and get our b b b bonfire. Bonfire. And some other words. <laughs> Right, can I level up with these amount of souls? No. Yeah, at a certain point, the amount of souls you need to level up is gonna increase by a metric crapload. To the point that it's kind of not worth it anymore. Or it's gonna be very difficult to level up in any case. Right. Kill him. And try not to get killed by this other dude doing freaking crazy moves with his spear. <laughs> If only the, stores, the, the stone spear actually had that kind of moveset. But no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Let us continue. It is really nice to... <laughs> really nice? Jesus. Epic voice crack right there. It is very nice to just be able to run through an area like this. And not have to deal with all of the annoying stuff. From these areas. Or from some of these areas, I would say. That is one thing that is very nice about doing these uh, little speedrun things, I suppose. Okay, when do you spawn, name is Usurper? There you are. I did not know. Son of a bitch. Get blasted, bitch. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. Yeah, that was pretty dang powerful. Not gonna lie, that was pretty dang powerful. Hello. Okay, so I kind of don't trust myself, so I'm gonna go and uh, get this bonfire down here. I'm not confident enough in my skill, so... 
I would rather get this bonfire and be safe. Because that way, if I didn't get this bonfire, I'd have to run pretty dang far again, and I don't want to deal with that. Right, I do have enough souls to level up, uh, but I don't want to reset this area. I'll do it at the next bonfire. Just do it! Right. I do really appreciate that I have only like that I only need to do like another like that I only have to do one full playthrough. That I don't have to do multiple of these. That's nice. Alright. I know. That is a lot of damage I just did. Holy shit. Simply sublime. Goodbye, asshole. That's my crystal soul spears gone, but whatever. Still got normal ones. Seven, 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 bitch. I do still think that the the looking glass knight is probably going to be a little bit more of an issue. Yet again, because of his stupid shield. <laughs> Well, because of its really cool shield, really, but... And Moonbeam! I love using the Moonbeam. It also just sounds cool. Moonbeam. Not sure if it... I actually really am unsure if it actually has, like, a name. <laughs> but I call it the Moonbeam. And it sounds cool. Okay, stretchies. Stretchies. Left or right, baby. Left or right. Mm. Ugh. Alright, give me more attunement. Wow, I'm missing a hundred souls. <laughs> Welp. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use one of my pocket souls for that. I'll just go and use one of these. It's a little bit more than a hundred, but whatever. Do you really think that I give a damn? <laughs> At this point. Because I can guarantee you that I don't. Right. Back over here. So now we just have to go and unlock the elevator, take the elevator upwards, get the key, and uh, yeah, go and fight the looking glass knight. And then after that, it's gonna be the shroud of a mana, which I do kind of want to do. Well, maybe not though. Maybe. I should. I think after I'm done with the Dragon Age Castle and I've reached the Shrine of Amana, that's where I'll end of my session. Because then I'll then the Nintendo Direct will also be going. Already, so I also do not wanna like I'm already tired enough. As much as I would love to finish off this game if I could. <laughs> I I have more than enough time tomorrow. And after all of that stuff, I'm also like I'm still gonna have to edit and render most of these things, so I will have some time. I really hope that was close enough. Nope. Get over here. Wow. Miss. Because some stupid pop was in my way. Okay. So I seem to remember either doing it too early or too late. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just gonna make him do this. I'm gonna watch the elevator. To see if it starts moving. Okay. And I think you need to wait for the elevator to reach the bottom of the of its path, basically. Oh shit. <laughs> um hello. Goodbye. I think I'm just gonna run around over here. Get to the bonfire. Instead of actually resetting the area. Um, over here somewhere. Please. Okay. I just think I'm gonna go and rest at the bonfire and hope that the elevator has reached its. Well, like just the fact. I just really hope that the game remembered it. I don't know what triggers the game to remember this. Also, like the fact that I'm still green. 
Whenever I use a human effigy, I almost instantly die and lose it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna... At, at least in the game plus. So I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. As much as I like my character. To not look like a piece of... Moss. Um, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. <laughs> like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use a, a human effigy. I'll only use it once I've reached like a quarter of my health or something. Right. Open the gate. Are you kidding me? There's a fucking dude in here. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. What you stupid? Washing pole. What made me turn around, actually? <laughs> that was weird. Goodbye. Science helm, huh? I don't remember which chest has the thing that I need. Uh, salt vessel and fire seed. I think this is the one over here. You are the one I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. Key to the king's special. I do think I'm gonna just return to the last bonfire. Rest of the bonfire. Get my spells back. And get ready for battle. I'll first have to kill the horse brigade there. Which is kind of annoying. Oh well. Alright. How beefy are the horses? I'm gonna kill this one first. I'm gonna at least kill one of them before the other ones wake up. Alright. I'm gonna wait for him to do an attack. <laughs> they both did the same weird ass attack. Ouch. Okay. Come on, line them up. I see. Choo choo, motherfucker. Alright. And this is where the fun begins. Time for the looking last night. Hello. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Son of a bitch. Maybe I should just point blank you. Yeah. That seems to work. Just point blanking him. Alright, just gonna do a spin. I got hit by the spin because I... Because this guy makes no sense, really. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> wow. I thought, I thought that was gonna bounce off of a shield, but... I was lucky. 777 seven, seven, once again, baby. I'm gonna roll through that just in case. One, and then two, and then another one. I'm going heal up. As he stabs again, because I've never seen him do that. I've actually never seen him do that before. That's interesting. Guess you learn something new about every single boss every day. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Alright, buddy. He is gonna call his buddy. Yep. Speaking of his buddy, how long can he survive? Oh. <laughs> That's how long. Um. <laughs> Okay, I thought I was gonna hit me with that. Oh, son of a fucking... I hate this thing. <laughs> I love this thing aesthetically, but my god is it annoying to deal with this guy's shield. You see? Because you either bounce off with your... Like, when you bounce off with physical weapons, and your spells bounce off... Your spells literally bounce off of his shield. Which is also quite bad. Right. I also get the Ring of Steel Protection plus two. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I could get rid of this for that. 
Considering a steel protection plus two might be a... Seems like a pretty nice thing to have. How much extra defense is that? That's 100 extra defense. Yeah, I'm doing it. The souls were nice, but um, I think this is better. Right. <laughs> the quiet after the storm. Nintendo Direct has officially begun. <laughs> Perfect timing for me to end off my session. So my friends, I'm gonna use a human effigy just to show off the, my character in all her glory. And this, my friends, is going to be just about it. I'm gonna go back to Majula, level up one more time. And then next time that I'm gonna be recording in any case, which is gonna be tomorrow because I wanna finish this shit off so I can start something new. We're gonna go and do the Shrine of Amana. Um, probably. I think the Undead Crypt. We might be able to finish off the, the, the first new game. I like the new the first new game plus. I guess we'll see. I have no idea. I still hope you hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, if you're still interested at this point, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.